Hi, I'm Chris, N9CBR. In this video, we're going to test a pretty funky antenna. So, this goofy thing here is what's called a slot cube antenna. Um, basically, so inside here, these two tubes almost touch, and then you've got a, a connection here. Uh, so, those of you familiar with a J-pole, you might be kind of looking at it going, hey, that almost kind of sort of looks like two J-poles glued together, and it almost kind of sort of does. So, um, the overwhelming cool thing about this is look at the size of it it's amazing um, we have a set of club members who do a uh, anyway they go to a restaurant once a week um, and do a net from there and not this particular antenna but an antenna like this is what they use um, works really great you just put this on the table you put the radio few feet away from it you know you don't want to exactly be beaming 50 watts sitting right over it um, and they are able to hit the repeater very very clearly from 20-ish miles away I'm gonna call it um, where honestly other uh, other people kind of struggle to hit it so uh, but that's on two meters um, I have talked to those club members and they said, no, this completely does not work on 70 centimeters. Um, there is a YouTube video out there where a guy builds this. This is why I'm not showing how I built this or dimensions or anything like that because just look at the video I'm going to link below. Um, but he claims it's really good on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. That's literally the claim. It's really good on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. No data to back it up. So, we are going to create some data today. Um, I'm going to put this on the VNA and see what we're going to see. And then, uh, hopefully, I will be able to get a hold of one of my buddies who we can... And he's, oh, I don't know, a mile or two away, something like that. We'll be able to talk on 2 meter simplex. He should be able to give me a, a signal report. 70 centimeter simplex, he should be able to give me a signal report. Um, and then we'll hop over to a, maybe one, one or two repeaters, we'll see. Uh, there's definitely the one 20-ish miles away. Um, that's kind of the big club repeater, uh, wide area repeater. We can try that. Uh, and maybe we'll find a way to do a 70 centimeter repeater as well. We'll see. So that's the plan. Um, we'll see how good is this thing really. All right, so this is kind of the setup we're running. Um, the VNA, nano VNA, through a unnecessarily long chunk of coax over to the, um, the antenna over there, uh, just so that my sitting literally right next to it is not going to affect anything. Um, I will take snapshots of what I get for the VNA, so hopefully that'll uh, look a little nicer than just trying to see it from way over there. But uh, that's that's what we're looking at, or maybe I'll just hey look kind of thing. So, all right, let's give this a shot. And oh, I don't know. Let's pick 146 megahertz. So that's kind of what we're sitting at right now. Looks like a nice little circle around um, around 50 ohms, which I guess I wasn't super crazy about. But, you know, 2.4 SWR, so not crazy. Um, I'm not seeing like an intense dip in, uh, in insertion loss or anything, so we are not saying that this is a completely amazing antenna on uh, on two meters, but there it is. Let us look at 
Okay, we're sitting at 430 megahertz now, and it looks a little more like that. So, a lot more dips and valleys and things like that. However, um, that SWR is like 1.04. That's really, really good. Uh, question is, let's actually hop up. Okay, the... the the peaks here are at 1.89 SWR, so not bad necessarily. Uh, not too much else to say here. Insertion loss, obviously, you got the same dips. Um, I do like that these uh, little swirls of Smith chart are a lot closer to the center, and sure enough, we're sitting at 52.1 ohms right now, so that's healthy. Um, that being said, given the amount of coax I have here, it, as we watch things move a little when I do this, uh, it could well be that my signal is getting attenuated quite a bit into the, um, into the antenna. But hey, this is the chunk of coax I've got, so... So... Now, you'll get to uh, skip through all this waiting, but I just need to sit and wait for my buddy to get back to me and uh, start, start talking, see what we see. Because numbers are cool, but what about real life? One eternity later. All right, so I think, uh, I think my buddy's around. We'll find out in a second here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is test three different antennas. Okay, he's got to get set up. But we're going to test three different antennas. So here is the rubber duck. Um, this is the Yesu rubber duck that came with the Yesu uh, HT. Except then I also added a, um, there we go, a little BNC adapter to it so I can easily remove it. My world's favorite signal stick. And then the slot cube. Now, the reason I'm standing right over here is because I'm going to transmit from right over here, you know, within a foot or so. Uh, my buddy lives, oh, I don't know, a mile and a half, something that way. So, basically, I'm just going to be asking for a signal report, see what uh, what he gets on, um, eh, Maybe let's do medium power on this, just so that we, uh, I'll, I'll set that in a second, just so that we're not transmitting, you know, just blasting him, um, so that we can hopefully tell a little bit of difference between signals. So, we're just going to wait for a second until I get the, the high sign from him, and we're going to go ahead. While we are waiting, just want to show you this really quick. Oops, not band. Let's go menu, TX power, and I'm on low three, so I will have to look up exactly what that is. Uh, if he gives me like a oh, full quieting S9 plus signal out of the rubber duck on that, I'll have to drop power, um, and then we'll go from there. But we're on low three right now, and we'll see what happens. AJ9L from N9CBR. This is N9CBR. I am on low three on my FT5D. How do you read me? That sounds like nothing. So, oops. Let's go TX power high. He's texting me. Uh, just saying I called. Let's try this again. Upping power. Okay, I gotta tell him that. Alright, so now we're gonna try high power. Let's try this. AJ9L, AJ9L from M9CVR. How copy?
That sounds like nothing. So, I am going to... So that is, he's got S5 of noise. That sounds like fun. Let's try a signal stick. AJ9L, AJ9L from N9CBR. How copy? Sounds like he's working through some uh, some noise issues. It did open the squelch, and apparently I'm on digital mode. Oh, yes, I am. Let's turn that off. Let's do it this way. Here we go. AJ9L, AJ9L from N9CBR. How copy? Alright, you're coming through here, I'd call it uh, S4, S5, something like that, um, but uh, what is my signal strength in, uh, over by you? I'm running the signal stick now, I basically gave up on the rubber duck. S3, but uncopyable. So now I'll switch over to this antenna, see what we can get from here. AJ9L from N9CVR, trying the slot cube antenna on high power on my HT. How, uh, how am I coming through now? Yeah. His antenna is set up in the wrong place, so uh, let's see if he, he can get it moved, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, actually, he's saying let's try 446. So let's try 446. That was 2 meters, 146.52. Go quick, go quick, go quick. Do this. Switch over to the rubber duck. AJ9L from N9CVR. I just caught the last, uh, the last two syllables of what you said. I was in the middle of swapping antennas. Uh, how am I coming through here? He's probably getting an S2, S3. I'm going to do this. All right, that's a lot better. All right, I was really struggling to uh, pull you out of the noise on the rubber duck, but I've just switched over to the signal stick. Um, what, what was the signal report on the, on the rubber duck again? And then how am I looking now? Okay, good to know. Um, let me swap over to the antenna I am testing, and uh, that, that seems to take me a minute because it's not BNC, it's SMA. <laughs> and I'll call out for you again and see what we get. I love SMA. Here we go. Okay. AJ9L from N9CBR. How copy? And he's pulling about an S3. So one last test I want to do. Uh, obviously, I don't have the HT in front of me because I don't want to be standing right here uh, <laughs> while I'm transmitting. But uh, about, oh, call it six, seven, eight miles that way, there's a, another 70-centimeter repeater that I thought I'd open up 
see if see if I can get there. Um, we can also try a well, what the heck? We could try a two meter repeater that way. That's a digital repeater. Um, then we'll try the seventy centimeter that way. Uh, the two meter is three miles, call it. Uh, that one's seven miles, and then we can try to hit the big two meter repeater, which is way out there, uh, probably 15, 20 miles. So we'll give those a shot really quick and see what happens. All right, so this is the two meter digital repeater um, that's, I don't know, two, three miles that way. We'll see what, what whether I can get into it. Uh, really, because it's a digital repeater, all I'm going to hear is a little beep when I'm done. So uh, nothing too dramatic here. And 9 CVR, signal test, signal test. This is November 9, Charlie, Victor, Romeo. I think I saw a little flash back there. At the... I think I did get in. So, that was interesting. Let us hop over to... <clears throat> This is the 70 centimeter repeater, kind of that way, 10 ish miles, call it. And 9 CBR, signal test, signal test. This is November 9, Charlie Victor Romeo. Solid. I'm getting like an S4, call it, uh, back out of that repeater. So. I have no way to know what my signal going into it is, but hey, at least on receive it's all right. Um, not a ton of people use that repeater, so there's that. Let us try this one. This is the big one across the lake. This is N9 CBR. Signal test, signal test, November 9, Charlie, Victor, Romeo. Nope didn't break the squelch on the repeater. All right, well, hopefully that was some interesting testing of this goofy little thing. Um, seems to work. Is it the world's awesomest antenna? It seems like mm, you know, maybe not really, kind of, you know, sort of, maybe, kind of. Um, <clears throat> this is not what you're going to be using for let's say weak signal work or something like that but hey for a one foot square little box it's a surprisingly good antenna i'm gonna keep it around i'm gonna use it um all the time probably not um for just a little portable setup heck why not so if you like this kind of stuff um I know I've been getting away from building antennas and trying them out for a little while, so, and it seems like just from analytics, most people seem to like that the best. Um, but here's another one. If you like this kind of stuff, stick around. I'll, I'll do more as time permits. Um, a big one is you let me know what kind of antennas you'd like to see because um, I, I do like to build them instead of buying them. I don't have an infinite budget. Um, as much as I'd love to have one. If you'd like to supply an infinite budget, by the way, I should mention there's a, I, I just started a Patreon. I'll have that link down below, but uh, I kid, I kid. Um, but yeah, any ideas on what to test next? If it is something that I can build, that's better uh, because, hey, I enjoy doing it too. Um, any questions, comments, remarks, rants, things like that? That's what the comment section's for. Um, if you want to see more, subscribe. If you do that, hit the notification bell. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. 73.